What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with Space Lines from the Far Out. This game released onto the Xbox June 7, 2022 for a price of $14.99, but it's also on Xbox Game Pass. If you have that, you can play for free. Now this game is so awesome. I really like this game a lot. It's like an overcooked style game where you uh, fly a spaceship and you have to take care of passengers and also you have to fly to the destination. And it's also kind of like roguelike. If you die, you start over. And uh, this game has four player co-op offline and online which is amazing. I uh, started this game and I really got into it, so I wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit of it and uh, just show you how to play and what it's like. I'm gonna play solo here, but I definitely recommend playing with friends. It's a great game to play co-op. Now you can uh, pick who you want to play as. You can unlock new pilots later on. I died last time I played, so you start back at the beginning, you lose your ship and your money, but they give you $400 so you can buy a new ship. So you can go around and you can pick the pilot that you want. I like this guy over here. So we're going to go up this way. On this machine here, you can create your uh, logo and the name of your company and change the colors. You can generate names. I'm just going to pick whatever. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. I want a good one. All right, that's good enough. Change the logo. There's different logos. You can unlock new ones as you play. And then colors. You can unlock new colors as you play. One like a blue. There we go. Yeah, that's good. All right. So now we're going to embark on our mission. So we're going to go down here. We have to buy a new spaceship. They give us some money. There's a bank over here. You can uh, deposit money. So in case you do crash, you can save your money. But we're going to go up here. And they're going to give us some options. So we have three different ships to pick from. They have different interior designs. Some of them have different things, like this one has a bathroom in it. Some of them have seating. As you're embarking on your mission, you can uh, buy upgrades and add new things to your ship. I'm gonna pick this one. I like this one, it has the seating in it. So we're gonna click on this one. And yeah, this one's pretty good here. You can uh, change the paint job if you want. It's gonna cost money though. And I don't have the money for it right now, to be honest. You can see what systems are on here. Later on, you can uh, add more. You can buy upgrades. See, I can't uh, buy that paint job, so I gotta take it off. All right, now we're gonna buy this ship. There we go. And now we can embark on our mission. Let's go. So here's the map here. We have to make it all the way to the other side. And we can travel different paths. Right now we can only travel right here. And it's a very easy path. There's uh, stops along the way. You can uh, fix your ship, get gas, and you can find people to pick up. You always have to watch out for your fuel. If you run out of fuel, you're going to lose and you have to start over. So here we go. Here's our ship. We have some passengers on. Now you have to entertain them, see what they need. Sometimes they need food or they need you to dance for them. <laughs> now we need to make it to our destination. You can check the navigation screen and you have to uh, point your ship in the right direction. You have fuel in the bottom left. If you hold up, you're gonna burn your fuel. So you wanna be careful. You don't wanna go too fast and burn your fuel. You have food over here. This guy's hungry, this guy's hungry. So you can cook them food. You take a packet, put it in here and then we'll cook it. Now there's things around. You can look around for these question marks. That's a repair shop. We don't need that right now. Here's some food. I'm gonna feed the passenger. And the other guy's hungry as well, so I'll make another one. There's other things on the map. There's asteroids you gotta watch out for so you don't hit them. Let me give this other guy food. There you go. So this guy wants me to dance for them. So you have to hold B, I believe, and then you can uh, dance, do some dance moves, entertain them. And whoops, I just hit an asteroid, destroyed my hole a little bit. You can see in the bottom right, took some damage. 
and uh, I broke my steering wheel. You can actually repair things. You have a wrench. You can go around and repair stuff. And uh, that's the destination over there. So we got a turn. And we're going to go over here. And this is going to be our first stop. I've been playing for a little bit, so I build up my Raiden, and uh, I'm a first-class ship. What can I say? <laughs> so this is like a terminal. We're doing stopovers. We're just going to stop here for a second. You get more food, but uh, you don't get more gas unless there's a, a fuel guy at the terminal. This one doesn't have anything, unfortunately. It's just a little terminal, but there is a package here, a parcel. You'll find these sometimes, and you'll get some uh, new stuff. This right here is a new employee, so a new person that you can be. Alright, so we can't do anything here. So we're going to go up and embark and uh, try to make it to the next area. So this time we got options. You can uh, pick which route you want to go. We got three different spots we can pick from. This one is just like the terminal we're at. Now this one, as you can see, there's something connected to it. So I think you could buy upgrades there. And then this one has nothing. So we're going to go to the middle one. All right, we're off again. We need to repair the ship and also get some fuel. And we have some more passengers now. So you want to keep an eye out for some question marks. We really need to find a fuel station. And uh, need to cook these guys some food. Everything should be fully repaired. Let's see, is anybody hungry down here? Nobody? Oh, he is. Here you go. Now, we're really going to need fuel. Oh, here's some question marks. Let's see if anything good is over here. It's probably all asteroids. <laughs> okay, right here we can pick up some more people. Now, the way you do this is you have to pull the battery from the engine. And then you need to allocate a battery to the communications, which is the phone right here. And then we can call this uh, thing right here. We'll bring us to it. Now you have to press the phone again, and that will answer it, and that will bring them on. So now we got some more passengers. I can hold up to 12 people on this ship, even though there's only six seats. The other guys will walk around. Now you need to allocate the battery back to the engine so we can start moving again. I need to dance for these people again and entertain them. <laughs> Now I'm going to really need fuel soon. If I run out, then the whole mission is over and we have to start back from the beginning. At the bottom left, you can see your fuel. It's the blue bars going down. I'm only going to have one blue bar left soon, which is not good. These guys are hungry. Jeez. Is there any more question marks? Oh, here we go. Hopefully it's some fuel. Nope, it's more people to pick up. All right, well, let's pick them up. So we just passed by it, but as long as you're in the vicinity and it's still like in your radar, you should be able to still get to it. It'll pull you over there. There we go. We got three more people. Come on in. All right. Now put the battery back to the engine. And now we can head off again, hopefully finding some fuel. There's like gas stations you pull up to just like that and they will fill you up. But uh, it's RNG where they're going to be. So you might have to go around and look for a little bit. Of course these are just asteroids over here on the map so that's pretty lame. Now I'm going to head over here straight to the next station. The next terminal whatever. Maybe we'll be able to get some fuel there. I think we're almost there, yeah, we're almost here. All right, let's pull in. All right. Let's go in, see what's in here. Oh, nice, we can refuel here. So we're going to go over here, 
And uh, this one cleans. Sometimes people puke on your ship, so you have to clean it. Our hull is damaged, so this guy can repair it for 50 bucks. Yes, please. There we go. Good as new. And uh, now we need to refuel. Fill it all the way up. I got really lucky here. Alright. Now we're full. And we're good to go. And there's a parcel over here, so let me pick this up. What is it this time? Another employee, wow. Alright, cool. Another character you can play as. Alright, now let's embark again. Now we can pick a different spot to go to again. This place is just a regular terminal. Same with this one, nothing special. So we can only go to these two. So it really doesn't matter either way. We'll go to this one. Alright, here we go again. Now this time, I'm just going to run the fuel out, just so you guys know what it's like when you uh, lose. So if you hold up, you go fast, but it burns the fuel really quickly. As you can see in the bottom left, it's just burning through the fuel. Now if you run out of fuel, you're going to lose, and you're going to have to start all the way over. Which I'm going to show you guys right now what it's like when it happens. <laughs> You can actually buy insurance. You'll meet some guys that will sell you insurance. So you can get your ship back and stuff. Which is pretty cool. But we lost. And we're stuck in space. No. Back to business class. No. <laughs> and there we go. That was our run. We have no insurance. So now we go back to the terminal, the first terminal. And here we are, back to where we can uh, pick our character again. I got some new employees though. And he's gonna give us $400 again so we can buy a new ship and start all over again. I like this shark character. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. But yeah, overall I really like this game. I think it's such an awesome game. It's definitely a great game for co-op if you have uh, people to play with. And uh, the other cool thing is the trackers actually work for the achievements, which is awesome. I love when that happens. But yeah, it's a great game on Game Pass with four-player online co-op. Some of these games don't have online, but this one, I think they did it right. And the achievements pop for everybody. Some of them didn't pop for both of us, but most of them did. And the achievements look pretty doable, too. It doesn't look like it's going to be that hard of a completion, but it's really fun. I'm really glad I started it, and it's also on Game Pass. So that's going to be it, guys. I just wanted to make a video going over this game. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to the Achievement Land fam. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. It helps so much. You guys are legends. If you guys want to become part of the Achievement Land fam, you can join today. The link is in the description.